every morning the fisherman's pup had to walk, and he began his day the same way. Except this morning, something felt different. Scruffy looking puppet. Are you carrying the cockle? Why did you move the anchor? Or why did you take the roof off? Everything has two sides. Philip has a problem. He really has two sides. You know, he's just like a double-sided jacket. His other side is a superhero. He's a super isolated archives department employee. And actually, he is a very energetic hero and loves to be seen showing himself off. This game has two sides too.
so sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place. An ancient underground city. Its existence long forgotten. Searching for a way out. All I found is a window into the past. If even one person here commits a sin, everyone will die. I tried to set things right, but whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. It's all up to you now. Go back, investigate, talk to everyone, help them out if it'll win their trust. Bend the rules as far as you can. Figure out who's responsible for this. And maybe you can do what I never could. Save these people. Save yourself. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one.
what my problem is? It's called the Necronomicon. It makes horrible things happen. It made me start to... talk. Oh god, the abomination! <laughs> You're a tourist, correct? You don't want to go in there, do you? Dark rumors! Please, you ugly cultist! <laughs> What's happening, Darko? It's always been its own kind of weird. But now, crazy cults everywhere in this strange book I've been hired to find. I've got this sinking feeling things are gonna hop the rails real quick-like. What would you do with a fish, Miss Sailor? My cat started talking. That's... You don't know how weird that is, man. That is a very special cat. So it's true. The Necronomicon really was hidden in the library? Oh, Haven't you ever dreamed about the world we left behind? When the flowers bloomed, and life was more than just a resource. 
What if I told you, you could go back? Back before all of this. You could make a difference, you know. Maybe this isn't our only story. I just had the weirdest dream. It was like someone was trying to show me something. Something really important. Eh, never mind. So let me get this straight. You put yourself on the trail of a dreadful serial killer. You eradicated me from my life and got me involved in a kidnapping case. We went up against some dangerous alchemists. We both lost our jobs. And we traveled to the other side of the world. We broke into a den of murderers. Twice. You pushed me to stare straight into Satan's eyes for crying out loud. And now... You want to stop because your bicycle is broken? I prefer the term injured. Agent Harrelson, you got any leads yet? Well, it might be a minute, Bob, but you know you've got the best man on the job. I'll have this figured out before dinner. Me. It's always me who has to get his hands dirty. Headquarters said to prepare for a messy crime scene, but this is textbook work out of a slasher movie. I knew I should have stayed in bed today. Harold! Stop daydreaming! And don't forget to fix the light after cleaning up the paint! Sometimes I do wonder what life would have been like on Earth.
serious. You don't recognize it. Your head took the brunt of the impact. Your frontal cortex was damaged in the incident. Henry Moss, a name bound for fame, explorer of far stars, champion of the cosmos, and interstellar delivery boy for Moss Family Supplies. Oh, I forgot, I'm also an ace pilot. Eh, in training. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I'm as bored as a booger blaster in a snot storm. But when adventure calls, I'll live up to my name. I'll do away with this life of drudgery and deliver my own fortune. I'll aid aliens large and little. Remedy ramshackle robots with marvelous machinations and face down formidable foes of ferocious force. <laughs> Mom will even lighten up for once and help me conquer cosmic evil. Uh, we'll do all sorts of heroic things. And perhaps uncover secrets that will change the very fate of the universe. Hey! Mom! Don't embarrass me in front of my new friends! Sheesh!
imagine tempting all the steps to follow closer right behind is it only when you feel the pot is empty that it's gnawing at the corners of your mind Ooh, i will ask you for mercy i will come to you blind what you'll see is the worst me not the last of my kind
Research Launch Center, traversing the void of interstellar space in order to explore the mysteries of the lithic system. Of all the working masses, only a lucky few live in the bestest country in the world, Matryoshka. While politicians make false promises of change, it takes a true leader to grab history by the neck and make a real 360 degree change in course of history. We Matryoshkins are tough and know how to stand for ourselves, but fear not, we welcome you with open armies. Our glorious past can be your future, and future of your children can be the past for your grandchildren. Just let us into your minds, hearts, and houses. No rush. Take your time. We are patient people. For now.
third of the parrot, quarter of a crocodile. I am beauty, no denial. Hey there. Hey yourself. Yep, I get up early. Old fisherman habit. If I could have it my way, I'd be sitting right now in the riverbank. But what can you do? the round table. God gave him a quest. Go find the Holy Grail. Put some booze in it and celebrate the biggest party England has ever known. But the Grail is hidden deep into a dangerous place where all men are gay and women have hair under their arms. The Kingdom of France. Anyway, bon voyage, Lancelot. Lancelot's Hangover. The Quest of the Holy Booze. of Saxton are no more than a warren of rambling lanes and quaysides, lined with whitewashed cottages steeped in history. A bloody history. D -d -d Darkness, a force. Pirates. Captain Crippen and his pirate crew hid in the caves near Saxton. 
smugglers. The infamous Mankel gang operated in the tunnels beneath town. Murder. Many murdered in the rooms above the bear. And mystery. If the dead could talk, what tale would they tell? The town museum has much to reveal regarding Saxton's supernatural past. Saxton has a dark past. Monsters. Lucy and I. Saxon kings. I need help. Witches. The malignants growing. And ghosts. An island. Black. Local ghost hunter Nigel Danvers believes Saxton is the focus of paranormal powers. Such is his dedication, young Danvers leaves no stone unturned in his pursuit of the truth. Aye, aye, what's this? A prowler? A burglar? A poacher? Nothing of the sort. Here we find the ghost hunter seeking answers from the dead. Utilising an array of gadgets and gizmos has yielded startling results. Ghosts. Poltergeists. Spirits. Phantasmagoria. But there are those who find such activities dangerous. The dead should stay dead, said one local. The crowd was only the beginning. What is lost should remain hidden, say others. But with winter approaching, Nigel Danvers is convinced there are dark times ahead. Should the spirits return to the living, his peculiar service will be required. The darkness is growing. The truth, the black and rock. You want to make a statement? Your boys tell me I stole a few rutabagas. Anything in it? I have reports from all over town about a rutabaga stealing leprechaun, and I think you're it. Do I look like a leprechaun to you? Well, let's see. Dressed in green. Funny hat. Found with a pot of gold. Yep, sure do. That's fair enough. What's more, we found rutabaga residue under your fingernails. So I think you better give it to me straight.
Dear Delta, my son, I've tried to teach you all there is to be a decent person, to show you there is still love and compassion in this world of destruction and chaos. If something was to happen to me, please come and find me, my son.
were in mommy's tummy, mommy's sister went to heaven. The church was filled with bright yellow lilies. And she looked at me and said she wanted to name you Lily. Lily. After the most beautiful flower she ever saw. Lily, Lily, Lily. Daddy, do you think I'm beautiful too? Nothing to be done for the poor fellow until we drain the water, I fear. We shall have to get him out of there if I'm to do an autopsy. Can't very well determine the cause of death just by gulping at him through the glass, you know. I once knew a chap who was killed after getting trapped in one of these. Sir Fumbles the Second. Very nasty way to go. Oh my god, Frumpa, what a ghastly creature. Terrifying to think that such loathsome demons must once have crawled upon the earth. Fella probably had eight legs and great thundering claws that could tear it out in two. Gives me the willies just thinking about it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, oh, oh my, how awfully embarrassing. I do hope that wasn't an important clue. Good lord, it's an abomination! My word, what an astounding adventure that was, eh, Frumple?
Take shelter from the sun and grow in shade and walk among the trees of plants we've made. The rain will wash the sorrows away and learn to soar the skies once again. Believe in your destiny. Skies from your land, the land that you roam in times gone and far, the land that you love and all that you are. Ooh.